Hey guys, I'm behind the scenes at You and Me in the Morning in Chicago. We are doing a first impressions on location. This has never happened before, but I am touching up my makeup before I go out and go on television. So I thought, you know what? Let's be a little risky. Let's go for it. I'm going to try out this new Smashbox 24 hour CC spot concealer. We're going to try and cover up this big old sunspot that I have going on on my forehead and then after I film on the news of course I will take you with me through my day here in Chicago and we will see if this holds up for 24 hours or at least until I wash it off at the end of the day so let's go ahead and apply this first off the applicator is really nice and pointed it's not your typical doe foot applicator where you would be placing this underneath the eyes to conceal under eye dark circles this is more precise for any sunspots acne marks just any scarring it's really going to do a good job concealing on the face so let's do this matches actually that's not bad. I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingertip. Dries really fast and it has almost a putty-like texture where it's really gonna cover and set. So that is something immediately that I see is really unique. I would not put this around the nose or under the eyes, only on small spots that you want to correct. Wow, that actually did a nice job. I'm happy with my results so far. So how did you get into beauty blogging? You know, I started out as a freelance makeup artist and I decided that I wanted to teach and talk in front of a camera and it was just one thing after another and here we are, you know, talking about beauty products on the news. And now Birchbox is actually opening stores, is that right? And you're part of a pop-up? Yeah, that is the plan. They're going to be doing pop-ups. They have one here in Chicago this weekend, Friday to Sunday. It's going to be in Pioneer Court. I'll be there on Friday at noon. Um, the cast of Empire will be there on Saturday. So they're doing a lot of cool things. You can actually purchase products, which, you know, some of my favorites we're going to talk about here today that are like amazing products. They'll be available for purchase. You'll get a manicure, listen to some music, have some snacks. It's just going to be, you know, a and good time. We all show up. We're going to get a Birchbox store. Hey guys, so this is the first check in. I successfully did a little beauty segment on the news. That was a lot of fun. I wore this here spot concealer uh, during that segment and uh, looking at the footage I think I'm wearing the wrong color so we are going to go to Sephora and pick up the correct color and uh, I have to say it really is budge proof though like even though it's slightly too dark for me it is really covering up my sunspot and it is not moving at all it like really adheres to the skin so I think I really like it I just feel like maybe I need a teeny tiny Bit of a lighter shade so that is the update for now see your forehead oh my god i'm gonna kill you i'm so tired leave me alone we'll be punched in the balls how do you manage to stay so pretty even when you sleep oh my god stop you're so pretty stop <laughs> get away these are water taxis this room is like ADD central for me. There's an ambulance. <laughs> it's not funny that there's some an emergency. It's just, it's not an ambulance or a cop car or a fire truck or a boat with a horn. It's plane. Or an alien ship. There's the Wrigley building. Thumbs up if you like chewing gum. We are at RPM. So many of you guys recommended this place and it's awesome. Look at this gnocchi. And what have you got, James? Chicken parmesan. And then we got an extra pasta just to try. Carbonara. Carbonara. This looks incredible. The atmosphere in here is amazing. What's the spot? Can you even see it here? No, you look great. Thank you. You look great. Except for this spot. No. Can you see it? No. It's literally when I touch it, it has texture to it. It's the weirdest concealer I've ever tried, but I love it. We are going to Sephora after this to buy the appropriate color.
All right, guys, so we are nearing the end of the day. I'm trying to like get this in before the sun goes down because the lighting in this room, there's not so much of it, just windows. Um, so I just went to Nordstrom and I picked up another Smashbox CC Spot Concealer. I have the new one in light neutral and then this is the one that I was wearing for the most part today. This is light medium and I got it at Sephora. These retail, by the way, for $25 and I really love this. However, the spot that I was concealing, I've kind of like rubbed it off now. I'm going to put the new color on there and see if it matches me. The first one did not match um, and that was disappointing because I literally went on a morning show with basically a dot on my forehead. You couldn't see it too bad, but it's one of those things, you know, where you're like, I know, but I know, you know what I mean? So um, I really love the coverage. It does not budge. So we have the light medium, which I thought was my color. It's not, I'm super white. Um, I was dreaming, really. I was like, oh yeah, I'm so tan right now. No, you are not. This was the next shade down. This is light neutral. Now, if they're not, you know, if this is too light, I think I probably could mix these together and apply this product with a precise, you know, brush that resembles a lip brush or a little pointed teeny tiny makeup brush, and that would work. I really love this formula. I am so impressed that it almost, it just adheres to the skin and covers any spot that you have. Just so quickly and it just dries down and it's just like done you're done it's there it feels almost like spackle for the skin i know that sounds really crazy and scary but it covers it completely and you don't have to worry about things moving around or if you like rub your forehead you know worrying that you're going to move that concealer around and i'm a big fan so let me try the lighter one that i just literally moments ago purchased. P.S. Can we just, I know it's been a long day. My makeup is a little bit moving all over the place. I literally did it at 5 a.m. So even though it's only like seven-ish, it feels like it is the very end of the day for me. Okay, let's unveil the brown spot. Ugh, I really want to get like an IPL facial or something or zap it off. Wear your sunscreen, kids. Wear your sunscreen you will get one of these. Okay. Do you see how immediately that just covered it up? Is this, am I so pale that this is still too dark for me? Are you joking me? James is gonna laugh. He wanted me to get the lighter one. And I'm like, no, I'm not that pale. Apparently I am. Okay, so this is too dark for me too. Gosh, dang it. Love it, need to find my right color. Cause do you see how it just completely covered up that dot? That is the hardest one to cover with any concealer. Um, I can cover it with the Marc Jacobs foundation, the Remarkable foundation and the Cover FX uh, custom cover drops, but it moves around throughout the day and then I notice that I see that spot again. With this, it stays completely covered. Long story short, I love this item. I think it's a little bit tough to match the right skin tone because you are not just placing this under the eyes, you are literally wanting to match your skin. Maybe bring your foundation in with you when you go to purchase this so that you can get a very close match. And yeah, I love it. I'm gonna stick through this and get a lighter shade and I will definitely use it in a tutorial or something of that nature. I also wanna let you guys know that I do have a video that is a collaboration with Estee Lauder and I actually got to have Kendall Jenner's makeup artist do some makeup on me, which was pretty amazing. I'm gonna link that video below. It is on the I Love Makeup channel and you should definitely go check it out. I will be responding to comments, so go leave me some. And I hope you enjoyed this first impression in Chicago. I'm loving Chicago, by the way, you guys. James and I are both just like, we love Chicago. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today. I'm gonna go wash my face because I am dang tired. All right, I will see you guys next time. Mwah.